Good morning and happy Monday, Idaho. So happy to be joining you this morning. We're taking a look right now and just starting off this forecast with a look at that tower cam network and obviously it's dark, but those conditions are feeling pretty comfortable. 61 degrees is where we're sitting at Boise right now and Twin Falls sitting at about 63, 57 over in McCall and 42 in Stanley. Now we're having temperatures today that would make it absolutely perfect to float today. So if you're thinking that that's something that you might want to do at some point, here's a look at how you could break it down. If you want to head out at noon, expect about 77 degrees as that high temperature for the hour. Moving into 3 p.m. We're looking at about 86. I wouldn't recommend going at 6 p.m. I've done this myself. It gets quite chilly after about that two hour float when you're out by eight too cold. So I definitely would recommend maybe that noon or three o'clock. Now taking a look at our future clouds and precipitation, you'll see that right now. We're not looking bad if you were to look outside. Now this is a look at Tuesday at 10 p.m. Tuesday at 10 p.m. We're starting to see that there's just a little bit of unsettled weather just below us in Boise over near the Ketchum area and in Twin Falls. Now just a little bit of cloud coverage. We do have right now our models are saying a possibility that we could have some rain or possibly thunderstorms heading through the area. And the reason why this is such a big deal is because with the hot temperatures that we'll be facing, especially down in the Magic Valley and the Snake River Valley, and a little bit of wind and then that possibility of some thunder that could definitely create a fire danger. Now look at that. We're just pushing into our, our Wednesday and then moving into our Thursday at about 1 a.m. You'll go ahead and see that we still have some of that unsettled weather making its way to us, which brings about the point of the watches and warnings that fire weather watch that will be in effect from Tuesday evening until Thursday evening. And we'll be keep just keeping a very close eye on that unsettled weather just to really map out what you can expect, whether it's just a little bit of rain or we do in fact get some of those thunderstorms. Now taking a look at our Treasure Valley highs for today, 94 degrees is what you could expect in Vail and Weezer, 91 in Nampa, Meridian and Boise, 91 also in Caldwell, Boise, 90 in Cuna, 91 in Mountain Home. Moving over into our West Central Mountains, 87 degrees will be the high temperature for today. Garden Valley at 89, 83 in Pine and Featherville, 91 in Riggins and Council, 82 in McCall and 83 over in Cascade. Heading over though into our East Central Mountains, 81 degrees will be our high temperature for Stanley, 86 in Fairfield, 83 in Sun Valley, sunny and breezy all around. And then making our way to the Magic Valley. Those are those hot temperatures I'm telling you about. 90 degrees will be that high temperature in Gooding, 89 in Twin Falls and Shoshone. Really, again, warm. Extended forecast over the next several days will show you that although we're looking hot, we do have some good relief that will be coming our way. We'll have 90 degrees all throughout the week. You take a look at Sunday, though, 98 degrees. But with all of this warm weather, heavy sun that's heading our way, we'll also have some relief in the form of our low temperatures. We'll be hovering in those high 50s low 60s, so make sure you keep that sunscreen handy and a big bottle of water always by your side.